High above the Earth, a rare and beautiful sight. A lunar eclipse. The moon turned orange by the Earth's shadow. This was the view in Moscow. But around the world, moon gazers were out in force. Here, watching in Lebanon, as the eclipse began. It's a wonderful night tonight because this is uh, uh, it's a some, something it's not happening every day. So we are glad that we had the chance to to watch it tonight. Cairo's Tahrir Square, not long ago home to demonstrators, now full of amateur astronomers. Being here is great because of the revolution and because there's the eclipse. It's really beautiful. Further south in Johannesburg, others were also gazing up at the heavens, excited by what they saw. Yeah, it was uh, pretty cool because uh, you can see the moon has turned red and it's uh, very red. Like every day when you go out of the house, you look at the sky, the moon is white, but today uh, the moon is red, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. But perhaps the most spectacular view of all came much further to the east in Australia. Whenever we think of the moon, we think of it as white and being very, I don't know, holy and white. But now it, it was red with black on it. It seemed very devilish to me. This was the longest lunar eclipse in more than a decade. For those lucky enough to see it, a moment they won't forget. Daniel Griffiths, BBC News.